Hi there and welcome back to Mega Corps Incorporated and uh, as you can see Mega Earth has just had this picture here changed so as your as your planets grow you'll have new settlements shown here which is something I find pretty cool also we have a new tradition available so let's look what we can go for we have harmony now so uh, governing ethics attraction is always useful but not at the moment not not too much um mind and body increased leader lifespan by embracing a combination of new meditation techniques and a healthier eating habits a large segment of our population enjoys a greater life expectancy than ever before and i think we'll do that because we are we're the human elite basically and our mind and body needs to live longer is it chi do we have uh, increased chi powers now yoga whatever it means we'll do it and now we have also completed the research of vitality boosters going for another 10 years where the body fails science intervenes we have 30 years that we our people will live longer we're doing everything and anything to stop death from happening and to be permanent so uh, what will we go for now oh look at that mildred dresselhaus is a big fan of commerce megaplexes but also of selected lineages yes that's gonna be something that fits us like a like the perfect glove leader enhancement who leads is the most important oh there's something else we need a good patrol a good patrol we need to patrol our ships around like everything and we'll I believe we'll do it like that. We'll just add just about everything to the patrol. Ah, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen. But that's the only way we can protect like all trade routes. There we go. Upscaling complete. Nice. Upscaling complete. Now new mining districts and we we're, we're producing robots now everywhere because robots are great. We also usually have enough food to further the growth in there. And look, we're now starting to get enough minerals as well. And what we also want to do is we'll buy some consumer goods. Buy a very big amount because that's cool. Monthly trades I've heard are also cool, but I, I, I kind of want to wait until we can afford a lot and then the inflation will go away too. Hi trader Sekpokan, dearest customer, regret to inform you that the trade deal we negotiated for the export of exotic gas to the worlds of the Megacorps Incorporated has run its course. We are of course more than willing to extend the deal. For another 10 years if you have the energy credits to spare yeah because we'll do that because the initial payment will we be spared with that we wish to extend the deal yeah let's let's do that we need a lot of exotic gases there we go as a surcoboy how freighters will begin making deliveries deliveries in immediately and we're interested in something else um that we seek your expertise what is that we have talented executives standing by 
ready to migrate to the Megacorps Incorporated and get any of our, your sectors back out of the red. Aha, uh -huh, we could get a Xuri governor. That's going to be interesting later on, but I mean, who could be better than the human elite, right? So I don't know if it's that interesting for us. It's maybe not that interesting. It's just a little bit interesting. Waiting for more alloys to happen and more Research influence to use. See, I'm, I'm, I'm in a little bit of influence. Wouldn't be too bad. Research grants we have. Farming subsidies. Could be nice production targets. Capacity overload. I'm not sure. I don't think it's important. Hmm. Wormhole stabilization, though. A naturally occurring subspace wormhole is a fickle thing and its fluctuating energy levels typically make it impossible to travel safely to its linked apertures. There are ways to temporarily stabilize this matrix, however, and we can now move a lot faster by using wormholes. And now, what will we go for next? What could be good? Subspace sensors and a black hole observatory. Mm. Do, do we even have a black hole? No, so we don't really need the observatory. Subspace sensors are probably good. Hmm. We don't need it like just right now. The disruptors though are something we really want to go into, I believe. And so that might be the way. Disruptor cannons. And we have ships with high penetration. That's something we want to have. We want to go for. Let's check from time to time if we're still on the boost of growth because that's very important to us. More people means more money. Oh, and look. Now yeah, we we, we'll send her back to Sirius Prime. This is the research there. We've got some, I believe. Some researchers. Oh, that's why we're missing the, the research. Now I know again. Serious, we will enter this orbit. We could build a megastructure there. Closing borders from the Skibin Star Empire. We've allowed you to move about freely in your territory for too long. Today we draw the line. The Skibin. Look at them, they're doing well as well. Being neighbors of the Celtic Empire must be hard. Consciousness is a rival of the Medirians. Hmm. Got a lot of rulers. We have a half Lorongo ruler. How could that happen? Let's let these guys in. Research actualized. Construction templates. Planet build speed plus 50%. Standardized prefab templates. Massively reduce on-site facility construction times. Something we really need and want. And, oh, look at that. A lot of good things to happen. But the L-gate inside is something we cannot, just cannot pass. We're greedy for that. We want to know the secrets. The profit, most profitable secrets of the galaxy. There's no question about it. We need to know. So let's have a look at the decisions we can make here. Reduces pop growth. Increases stability, adds more soldier jobs. I don't know. 
Martial Law. Ingolstadt could really also get robots, right? Robot assembly plants, there we go. Robots here, we have robots here, we've got robots here, and we've got robots here. We need robots everywhere. High tech society. So many alloys we need. How is it going with the alloy nanoplants? We've got seven metallurgists. Ooh, we need more. Our stability and free housing. We've got an immigration pool. Nice. Celtic Entire. The galaxy is not your personal garbage disposal unit. Megacorps Incorporated. Keep your so-called products to yourselves. We will not, because also your drones will gain individuality by the high-profile cosmetics that will genetically enhance your skin to something glistering that you've never seen before. Research actualized. A drone-on-drone -drone attraction will be possible, increasing your individuality. And that is a threat. And we have disruptors, that is also a threat. Disruptors fire high energy bolts that weaken and destroy the molecular bonds that hold the target's constituent atoms together. They are capable of passing through shields and armor to wreak havoc directly on enemy hull and crew. And now, iron disruptors could be good. Why not iron disruptors? Plasma throwers are cool and all, but self-aware colony ships yeah let's let's go for a little bit more ai now we can use that when we have the habitats so oh, the mining world of alpha centauri prime going for something and what will we need now civilian fabricators Ah, uh, it's something. It's something. We could go for more mining districts or more agricultural districts. What is it that we really need, though? We really need consumer goods and alloys. Do we have an alloy production here already? No. Add some alloy foundries then. Because we've got good minerals incoming now. Will the Corp in Juxi War ever end? Upscaling complete. The branch office is here. Corp Juxi. Oh look, Twex Prime. Can go for something else. Nah, 39. Wow, that's crazy good. Uh, an executive retreat we have here. Oh, nice. A lacking. Ooh, amenities and trade value. Ooh, yes. On the ha other hand, a private mining consortium. Now, that's maybe something for later. We could go for... Oh, that's also cool. The public relations firm. Misconceptions and suspicions are always floating around any large corporate entity. It is in the public's interest to hear out all sides of any dispute. And this P PR firm makes it their business to get their employer's point across. Ingolstadt has also finished its construction queue. And he's doing mighty fine, got to say. Got a lot of housing everywhere. Nice. Mega Earth might 
one more amenities. It's just that feeling, and we need woo, we need more. More, more, more. Look at that, we need more minerals even. It's crazy. Hmm. How to get more amenities though? Let's see. Holo theaters. Do we have holo theaters yet? I don't think we have. We can wait for that. Look at that. Wow. All the minerals we need. Research actualized. Actually, that absolutely that. We need more holo theaters. We need more amenities. We need more everything. Ah, it's so crazy. Selected lineages. Careful reproductive planning should be incentivized, lest we waste valuable genetic legacies. Absolutely, that's top of the top. And now. Mildred, our wheel exchange for, I may think, atmospheric filtering is a great opportunity for John Tyler Bonner to, to shine. And here. Love Mildred will active again. Now, let's have a look at the policies we're running. Yeah, we have adapted that. Careful reproductive planning. Leader level cap plus one, leader lifespan plus 10 years. A leader cost also increases, but who cares about the cost? Come on. We need more minerals too. It's so crazy. Mega Earth needs its amenities with the holo theaters. Upscaling complete. Alf Centauri. Oh, yeah, declared. look at that. Karab now declared on the Bothrian hive. And Mega Earth needs more amenities. In the future, at least. Let's see. We can do. Housing's okay. Amenities is what we need. Maybe not need, but it would be good to have them soon. Look at that. Minerals. We need more minerals. We need to buy some now. By 5,000 of these bad boy boys. New Schwabenland. What to buy there? What is it that we need? We have some housing. That's okay. We've got more than enough amenities. We'll just build another mining district. It is that. And what we'll build here is the Holo Theatres. We do that because we need it. Luxury residences, we could have just upgrade them. That would be reasonable. So let's do that. We'll also have a little bit more amenities. Consciousness made peace with Truxel Dar Trade Commission. Everything's fine. We also need more Research consumer goods. Oh my god. We need more of everything all the time. Habitability plus 5% atmospheric filtering. By adjusting atmospheric filtering per state basis to better filter out undesirable elements, colonial living conditions may be improved. Look, we can go for starbase capacity. 
Do we really need that though? Uh, it's also really expensive. Could look for someone who is going into military theory now. I mean, let's have a look at, at more leaders that we could get. I mean, this Rakan. will not live long, though. That's something we could go for, but... Mm, not really that great. Maybe rather go for something very cheap. Ground defense planning. And Mildred is back into the office. And what we'll do on serious prime. Housing's okay. Amenities are okay. We need either minerals or more alloys. Hmm. This will become a mining planet. No doubt about that. Build another mining district. Let's let's keep it simple a bit. On the other hand, I mean it's we have it. We should go for it. Either alloys or consumer goods. I mean we have made a lot of steps into alloys. We could go a lot of steps into consumer goods as well. I think I think we'll start with the lawyers though for some reason I want that going first and foremost Senec Karnas de declared the current despoilers their rival again yeah we know that they are Doing crazy harbingers are they doing? They are at war with the Corinth organic euthanization. What? The Corinth despoilers they are. They don't seem to come to terms. Upscaling complete. Nice. New Schwabenland finished its construction queue. And Yeah, there's nothing to do there now. Influence. Hmm. Will we build another star base anywhere? Let's see what we have everywhere. And look at Procyon. That that could be protected by a better star base. By a starport or something. actually upgrade that. So we're looking into getting more alloys, but it's kind of hard. We could just go for production targets. I mean, we are producing a lot. And that will help a lot, so to use that somehow. And there we go. Why not? Why not? I believe it's better to buy base resources than something like consumer goods or alloys. So 
we'll go for the more advanced models and the more advanced things. The Baderians, your pitiful nation, is living on borrowed Research time. The mega corks and incorporated will fall. It is inevitable. Complete. Opening borders from the Traskaran Conclave. Don't see any reason to whoever you are. You're not important. Mega Earth has finished its construction queue. That is very helpful. If more amenities now, look. Yeah, <laughs> and more housing too. And ground defense planning. Naval capacity from soldier jobs, defense army damage. There are many alien empires who would gladly seize our worlds for themselves. We must be prepared for them should the worst come to pass. And now, what would be good? Ah, the collective self is something we would really look forward to, as well as for commerce megaplexes. But collective self, improving our leaders even more, that's something we look forward to. Thank you for watching. We'll expand into more research in the next episode. Have a great time until then and happy gaming. This is Manuel Can signing out. Look at that. We now know nearly the whole map. Wow, more, more exterminator robots. A crazy situation may develop down here. The killer robots active. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming.